Yo, what is going on guys? I'm going to be showing you the power of Trundle Jungle here in Preseason 12 with Lethal Tempo's 90% attack speed bonus. I went ahead and popped my ghost there. I don't think it was worth it in hindsight. So anyways, you get 90% attack speed bonus from the buff Lethal Tempo. It does not go on cooldown, just like how Conquer doesn't. On top of that, Sunfire Aegis gives you a bunch of on-hit damage and it got buffed as well. For this season it gives a bit more stats the flame touch when you're at maximum emulate stacks your attacks burn enemies each time you hit them so with our attack speed off of our w our q resets and 90 percent from lethal tempo our sunfire is going to be doing a metric crap load we're going to start q you generally want to avoid raptors and krugs until you are level three it take forever to take otherwise, so we're gonna do red, move into our top side, and then we'll solo Warwick. He messed up with his build. He can't solo me. There's just no way for him. As long as I'm full health when I start the fight, my lethal tempo is gonna beat him. He should have gone lethal tempo Warwick. Lethal tempo Warwick's the best way to play Warwick right now. That's why Warwick's considered a top 10 jungler. We're gonna use our W to get over there a bit quicker. We're gonna run over to our blue buff, and then we're gonna do our Gromp and invade the Warwick. You can take wolves early game. It's just me. I don't feel like it. I want to get level three and pressure the map. Looks like Warwick did blue into Gromp. He's likely to do his wolves so I can get over there in time. Try to use your Q as an auto attack resetter. I'm going to smite the Gromp, try to pull it over here. That way I can apply my red buff burn to both of them. Very nice. And then I'm going to go kill Warwick. Won't stand a chance. I'm still going to get my pillar so I can secure it. For your runes, you want Lethal Tempo, Triumph, the Lacrity, Last Stand, or Coup de Grasse with boots. And very important, Approach Velocity. Approach Velocity helps a lot because your Q slows and your E slows as well. We should be able to... Ooh. Yeah, you literally lose this, buddy. That was not close at all. Oh my goodness. That was not close at all. And he was a level three Warwick. That was outrageous. And we still have some of the attack speed. It slowly decays. It lasts quite a while, even once you're out of combat with a champion. Still got like four or five seconds of it. I think we can get double scuttle off that. That was pretty big. Yeah, I'll get this scuttle real quick. And then I'll go for the bot scuttle. First item rush, obviously sun fire. You can use your pillar to take off its shield as well. That works too. If Warwick gets bot scuttle, I'll look for the bot side gank. That'll be my next best option. We had equal CS. He ran a weird way though. He kind of... Oof, I got red buff advantage. I can't wait to fight him here. Gragas is going to try to tickle my pickle. You lose, you lose. Oh, I think I pushed him out of the way with the pillar. Oh, he's going to get away because the plant. Oh, come on, baby, please. <laughs> we almost had him. I think Silas might be able to get him. That was really close. Just remember to use your Q as an auto attack resetter. Your W gives you bonus attack speed whenever you're on it. And your E, you can cancel people's autos with it as long as you... Ooh. There we go. Yeah, bugger off, mate. I'm gonna smite this to get my health back real quick. I don't want work to get bonus movement speed off me. There we go. Silas overstayed his welcome. I'm overstaying my welcome a bit. I gotta reset here. Once you have your Bomby Cinder, your clear gets a lot better. And Bomby Cinder is cheaper than Tiamat. Tiamat's not a bad item to get on Trundle. Since we are going for uh, Sunfire Aegis first item. We might as well just skip the full Sunfire before we get Titanic. Titanic's still a great item for Trundle. It's just... Lethal Tempo synergizes so freaking well with... Uh, with Sunfire Aegis' Flame Touch passive. That's really the secret sauce. Lethal Tempo plus Flame Touch on Sunfire is super good. Use a W speed up. Get around the map a bit quicker. Or got slow, we could go up there and hammer that real quick. Teach him a lesson. Teach him a listen for playing that champ. He doesn't have boots. He might actually back here. Ah, it's warded. 
Iggy's probably gone now. I'll stay for Warwick's Krug since I'm already here. Looks like Ergon might have stayed. Yeah, he's pretty low. He's scared of where I might be. Mid's kind of gankable. Bombie should be able to kill the small ones so we don't have to auto them. Nice. Oh, here's Warwick. I'll attack Q. He knows he can't fight it, so he's going to back off. I'll go for Gromp, and then I'll go for Scuttle. Gray's a minute or less. This will be up within a minute or less. I wasn't really paying attention when it turned gray on the minimap. We'll see. We can take it really quick. I'll save my smite for it. That way I don't have to use my E just in case Warwick shows up. I'd like to have my E to secure the kill on him. Just turn yellow. That's 10 seconds. Got to get over there right now. Warwick's blue buff just came up. So he's going to be on this or he's going to be on his blue one or the other. There's a ward in that bush. We need to break that ASAP. Are the, ooh, it, there was. I don't know what happened. It's like someone relayed a word or something. Nice job to Nico. Trying to stop him from shoving this in all the way. Yeah, you're a turd, bruh. Gonna pillar him back into me. Auto attack Q. We got his ghost. I'm happy with that. I'm A okay with that trade. I'll pressure Warwick's red buff. It's up in 40. It's gray, minute or less. And then since I think we took it from him so we know exactly when it comes up. I'll do my red into his red. I don't think there will be a point in this game where he'll ever be able to solo us. Even if I have quite a bit less HP, the press the attack diff is just, ugh. Get the dump is better. I didn't see Warwick's HP. I think he might have been going for his blue buff. Okay, his blue's gone. I'm going to cross over then. I thought he hadn't taken it yet. I'm not like I'm not walking over there, so I'm going to hug this wall instead of taking a sharp angle. And I'm going to walk this way. Words get vision for a little bit after you break them. That sucks. Work's going to be six with red buff. Urgot might rotate on this. Be safer to just go for Urgot here. I'll take it. I, oh, whoa! I don't even know when he got there. Yeah, I'm dead. That was bizarre. It's like he wasn't in the bush and then he was in the bush. That was really weird. I don't know how he got over there. I mean, he might have flashed the wall. I just didn't see it at all. Dang. I knew I should have just gone for the Urgot. That would have been so much safer. He's going to die for that. Pretty close game. Enemies 5 kills. Our team has 7. Urgot's going to overstay. I'll grab blue real quick since I have double smite charges. And then I'll kill him. Might as well grab this first. Urgot might go for this scuttle crab. He went missing which is kind of weird. Was missing a lot. What about mid? All right, mid's looking a little bit gankable. <clears throat> Let's see if it's awarded. It is awarded. That's fun. I love words. Really don't have anything to gank. Could push for dragon. I'll tell you what. We'll wait to get Harold here. If they take dragon, I'll go straight for it. I want to wait till I know where work is before I start something, though. Starting dragon, ocean's dragon's really bad when you don't know where the enemy jungler is since it slows you on its autos. It's really hard to get away from. Let's see if I can go get this ergot here in a second. I think it's doable. We have boots. We're moving 
385, he's moving 375. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna arm. He's so fast. Holy crap. Got him. We'll take it. You get a lot of their stats when you are the Montrundle. You also do a lot of their uh, HP. It's 20% of their max health and magic damage, and it also steals 40% of their armor magic resist. Well, playing Trundle is actually a lot like playing Warwick since this kit's so simplistic. They're both melee. They both kind of struggle against the same things. Range champs that can cut you out or hard CC you. Any melee jungler Trundle can hold his own against, even like Lee Sin, who's very meta. As long as you don't get kited out, you'll be fine. We're stepping on a lot of wards. We're gonna go for the W max second. We're gonna go pillar max second. You just miss out on so much damage. All right. Looks like Gragas got away, probably flopped over a wall. Warwick got dragon, Nico died. I bet you I can solo Urgot here. He's already taken a bit of damage. He doesn't really have that many, much more item than me. I'm pretty close on that and I have Red Smite. He doesn't have Ignite either. Oh, he's taking Tur aggro. I don't have my R though. I'm also taking minion damage. We need Sunfire Aegis before we really power spike. Before full Sunfire Aegis, we're kind of weak. I want to get this turret before I reset. Got him with our R, Red Smite. Finish him off with the Q. He got a little bit greedy. I want Nico to get the CS if she can. I just want the XP. All right, that's first turret gold. That's over, that's like 840 gold. We split it, so we'll both get 420. So we're at 1920. Yeah, that's about right. Let's go ahead and get Sunfire Aegis. Now we're giga power spiked. I'll get played a still cap and then we'll get uh I'll go ahead and actually get a thornmill and then I'll get Titanic. I think Thornmill would be better because of Warwick on hit. And Ur Urgot does a lot of little auto attacks that the uh Thornmill will help me against quite a bit. Ezreal shoving up, we'll go gank that. He's full item, so are we. We have a lot of armor. We also have boots advantage over him. And now you see the power of the Sunfire. It's clearing the camp really fast. You don't even need Tiamat when you have Sunfire. Tiamat's optional at this point. We're gonna run him down, try to get behind him. Wait to use Pillar until after he blows his dash. Oh, you're dead. I'm not even gonna Pillar here. I'm gonna pin him up against the wall. And that was an amazing pipe cook. Beautiful. Okay, so we just bought Sunfire, right? This was our very first fight with Sunfire. It's already done nearly 500 damage. We just bought it. It's already done 500 damage against champions. That's what I'm saying. It's literally, it's literally stupid strong with the lethal tempo. And I think our Nico just rage quit on us. She just died and then DC'd. Hopefully she just DC'd and then died rather than a rage quit. She rage quit, she's probably not going to come back. Looks like Warwick's pushing into my topside jungle. I could go mid here. I think Grax is going to be afraid of Silas though, because he's so far ahead of him. I got to go top. I think Pike's going to get himself killed. Even though Urgot's at an item disadvantage, he has HP advantage and level advantage. Now, what, what did I just say? I don't even know what I just said. Like, even though Urgot was under turret, Urgot had... Yeah, so he has less items, but he has more health and more levels. That's what I'm trying to say. It's all getting jumbled. Got him with our red smite. You're gonna die, Warwick. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Let's go, 90% attack speed. 
All right, so just bot lane fight. We got 400 damage off of our Sunfire Aegis, right? Now we have 800, so we just did another 400 damage with it. Just to give you perspective, Silas is fed. His has only done 344. Ours has done 800. Uh, Nikos has done nothing. Gragas has, has done nothing. I could, Ezreal's has only done 190 damage to champs. It's literally impossible to match damage output with Sunfire Aegis Lethal Tempo. It's just stupid strong. Gragas should die there. There's no way Warwick actually tries to fight him, right? Looks like Warwick's going bot side. I'm gonna stay. Since I saw him going bot, I might as well take these. I can also punish Urgot after this creep stops pinning me. Ah, uh, Nico, you're, 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 you're doing? Got him with the pillar. Nico's not helping. This guy's doing some serious damage. Holy crap, I almost died. Because Urgot's got Bramble and he has Holdbreaker. Holdbreaker's giving him a stupid amount of stats. We should get this up here. Holdbreaker is giving him an extra 30 armor and 30 magic resist. It's so stupid. They have double dragon. Hopefully we can get turret off this so I can snowball and carry. I have my R, which should be fine. Oh, you just died. Got the turret. Nice. Not bad at all. Say we go for Herald. Uh, we'll probably win this game before Dragon Soul. If I have my way with them. You can, should be able to pillar and it'll aggro. Now it's gonna pull out and come to me. Oh, whoa, that was a really weird interaction. So it got to save its initial dash because my pillar aggroed it, but it didn't actually use it. That was really weird, bizarre. So right now we have our flame touch on. You see that massive pulsating thick stuff around us. That's the flame touch per auto, feels good. I think it only does it versus uh, Against jungle monsters and champs, pretty sure. I don't want you to get that for just fighting minions. Or this item would be kind of OP. Yeah, you see how you don't get it for just normal monsters or minions? It's only for epic monsters or champions. Oh, this is scary. Just trying to save the turret is all. I need to spend my gold. We'll get Thornmel into Star Sterix, or we can even get Sterix then finish our Thornmel. I think Sterix is a better item with the way that we're playing. Nico keeps going DC. This is practically a a four v five right now. She keeps leaving the game. Use our W to get around the map. Team's fighting without me. Makes me sad. Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, that's hysterics. There we go. Keep hitting me. Do it, Ezreal, do it. Got him. That's Pog. <laughs> That's awesome. I couldn't believe it actually. That actually weren't worked out. Me just tanking three of them and a fed Ezreal. <laughs> uh, good times. Sunfire, lethal tempo, spread the word, guys. We need to get this nerfed. It's super good on Warwick, Trundle, Zin Zhao. Any champion that can naturally take lethal tempo and is melee. Melee lethal tempo champs. Oh, that sucks. I can't do anything about that either. The team kind of stranded her. I'll go grab my blue side jungle and then we'll get Thornmel. Probably grab an Anathemas because Ezreal's chunking me. He's doing the most damage to me because he's ranged. 
Or we could get Titanic. Or even... The thing is, they're really AD heavy. They're only... What the hell? Yeah, you can't go through that when I'm hitting you, buddy. I hope it was worth it. Uh, I think it might have been worth it for him. Really awkward fight. I should be able to run him down with my W. Yeah, you're gonna regret this, Urgot. Ooh, or is he? I'm not sure if he is. Oh, my pillar! <laughs> Chondel pillar plus MFR. That's actually insane. He's still running. It's so annoying. There we go. Gave him a little, a little nibble. A little trundle kiss. Wow. Trundle MF actually seems S tier together. The pillar, there's no counterplay. <laughs> it's not even my R and it holds him still for her R. <laughs> These fights. I keep feeling like they're going to turn really bad and then MF comes in with her R and kind of saves the day. She presses her button, her big outplay. I'm trying to tank this for Silas. He's gonna die. I don't have smites. Please hit it. That was really risky to do with that smite. I don't really care if they get this dragon because they're gonna lose before they can get soul. It's not the even the soul, so it doesn't really matter. So at this point, I think we grab Thornmel, and then we get the, I don't know. We could get a lot of different things. I'm kind of feeling the Bork. It's hard to say. This has done 2,400 damage, Sunfire Aegis, the flame touch on it. Uh, Silas has done 1600, so still less than me, even though he's pretty fed. Uh, Gragas has done 167, Nikos has only done 225. Ezreal's has done 2600, so even Ezreal, it's done only a little bit more than me, and he's constantly poking. I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like it's done a lot of damage for a tank mythic. Whoa, jeez. Uh, he was moving pretty quick there on his R. I don't have my pillar. We need to grab these minions. We should be able to speed them up with Baron buff. Did they actually not get sped up anymore? When did they take that away? They used to get a movement speed bonus. Oh, I think it's depending on you have to move faster. Like they borrow some of yours. It's weird. I'm tanking for the team. I don't know what they're doing. They're not going in on that. Only Silas did. I kind of hope he pulls me. I have Sterics. His teammates are about to spawn in. This is going to get really bad. Oh! Let's go. I just had to wait for my Q to come back up. Warwick gets triple attack speed against people who are below 20% health. So when I was super low there, he literally had like 330% bonus attack speed because it's 110% on his W when it's maxed. And it's tripled if you're below 20%. At least we haven't died and blown our shot down. That's the good news. So we're still breathing. Gonna swap over. We need to get these side turrets. I'll wait for MF, honestly. I don't want to fight 4v5 and throw my shot down. Trying to think about what item would be best at this point. We could go for Bork. Wit's End I don't think is quite worth it because they're not that AP heavy. Maybe a Ravenous Hydra. That could actually be worth it. The nice thing is we don't uh, overflow our attack speed either because Lethal Tempo doesn't let it overflow. I mean, it lets, it, over it lets you exceed the 2.5 attack speed limit. Pike just died. What the heck? He died so low. This game is very losable because Trundle does fall off a bit. 
and uh, I feel like they're overall working better together. Yeah, that's a rough fight. That was very awkward. I can't really fight three at once. I mean, they're gonna chain CC me. I need to be able to auto to do my damage. Trying to kite out Warwick's fear a bit. MF's gonna come in, light these guys up. Oh, they killed Urgot when he tried to suck me in. That might be game. We have super minion, it's only Gragas. I think we can end here. We didn't go for a single dragon this game, but we did get lots of turrets and we got double herald. As if you, it's fine to not go for dragons as long as you end the game before soul. Like the dragons individually don't really do much. They actually need the soul or they need elder. And I never threw my shutdown gold, so they never were like able to really come back properly. All in all, I'd say Trundle with the buff lethal tempo and the buffs on fire Aegis is like very, very good. I think Trundle has a lot of carry potential. Good against melee junglers. If you guys enjoyed this Trundle jungle for season 12, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. So playing full tank Trundle, we have the second most damage in the whole game. We only had a little bit less than our fed Silas. And then looking at damage taken, we took the most in the game by a lot. And then if we look at self-mitigated damage, we took the most in the game by a lot. So we easily took the most damage, which is what we want for being a tank. We had over two minutes of fully stacked lethal tempo uptime. That is absolute heaps. Triumph gave us back nearly 5,000 health, 450 bonus gold, complete a lacquery 12 minute mark, decent. Last stand gave us an extra 1,300 damage. Magical footwear got nine minute mark and approach velocity, time spent hasted over two minutes. All in all, I'd say Trundle Jungle is pretty gosh darn strong right now.